Well, I heard. You want to animate an otter? Well, you first need a rig. With a rig, you can make them face plant. And if you're a little bit nicer than that, you can make them gizmo in space. But if you're really mean, you can even make them dangle. Although, please note, they might shake their head because they actually want to move their hips and shake their body and curl in all sorts of directions or just, you know, give you a nice bow. But when you're moving their head around and you kind of get over your head, then you can also make a little bit smaller adjustments without a problem. But we can not only focus on the bones that make this trick more expressive, we also need to focus on what makes it work. So now come the legs. I mean, it's pretty standard. You can make them stretch beyond your limitations. You can use your feet to control them. Or you could just maybe not do that and have it solved for you by FK. You can point their knees wherever you like, but the knees will also kind of point themselves where it's reasonable to be pointed at. But I hear you say, I, I want my animations to be a little bit more realistic. And I also really want to make them kick. Well, for kicking, you should probably just stick to FK. And even when you went to make them kick, I would advise you to make it a little bit cartoonish and maybe, you know, just use some tricks here and there to put more emphasis on your kick so it really pops. But it's not everything. Because you might also want to make them wave. And for this, you, I think it's still undecided if using IK animation or FK animation is the way to go. But no matter, no matter how, which way you choose, <laughs> the rig will support your animation and the hands will make the arms twist nicely. And <laughs> Trust me, with the whole IK chains, this wasn't an easy, easy feat, but well, eh, it was worth it. I like it and it wiggles properly. Oh, you mean you also want to be able to curl your hands into a fist and control each digit individually, well, you can do this as well. But let's move on to this beautiful face. 
because you can animate this as well. You can make it be angry at you and mean. Or you can just make it a little bit sleepy. <laughs> Of course, you can make them smile and be excited. And I hope this doesn't raise too many eyebrows. <laughs> um, you can also really get creative with the snoot and make them show their teeth. And if you really insist, you can even boop that snoot <laughs> and wiggle the ears. But let's not get too silly and get a little bit more nuanced with the controls because obviously that is possible as well if you really need that extra control. But if you take too long, your producers will probably get a little bit annoyed with you. Moving to the last piece, this beautiful tale, playful and screwy, <laughs> and also with a lot of potential to be creative and <laughs> make this model your own. I hope you like this little presentation and all the opportunities you have, because I am really excited about this. Week.